Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Trivia tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about team service and teams and basically how to use them. Now this actually is a kind of a simple topic, honestly, but I never covered it, so I am now. Yeah. Alright, anyways, we're going to go ahead and start this and then we can get into it. Yeah. All right. So first things first, we want to go ahead and insert a script. We'll just go ahead and put it in like the workspace for now, I guess. Um, why not? Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and start assigning uh, teams. Okay. So first of all, actually, let me explain how teams work first. So if you guys don't know how teams work, if you have like, okay, for example, let's say you have right here your teams. Okay. You can actually see it right here. The service is actually visible, like, you know, in the Explorer. And you can actually add a new team in it if you just click and then hit team right it, it's pretty simple you just <laughs> you click that and hit team and then you can add a team here like for example let's say we want the blue team okay uh, we'll name it blue and then maybe we want um, like a red team so add another team and then we'll call it red right and um, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool uh, you can you can obviously change the color of it to red and there we go now we have a red team and a blue team now with these teams you can actually do cool things like check out the players in the team so they can you know you can give them certain stuff or do whatever a lot of things you can do with it so it's very very cool and um, I'm gonna basically teach you how to script those things and how to check if the players in a team or whatever and yeah Okay, so first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enter a script, and we're actually going to assign our players to a team. Well, actually, okay, let me explain a few properties first. So, like, if I hit play right now, right, I'm actually going to be, in by default, join one of the teams. I join blue team, as you can see, but no one's in red team. But as you can see, I join blue team, and that's because it says right here, if you click on the blue team, the auto-assignable thing is checked. So that means you can join that team, like, automatically. That's what that means. Now, um... You know, if you want to change a player's team, you can do that, and um, we'll definitely, I'll definitely teach you how to do that in today's video as well. Um, but yes, okay. Anyways, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do actually is do this thing where I, <laughs> sorry. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a little door, okay? Uh, you know, like for example, let's say you had like a a base, okay? Uh, let's p pretend this is a big base over here. Okay, here, wait, let me do it. Okay. All right, there we go. This is a giant base, okay? And the door to get inside is right there, okay? So basically, what we want to do is make sure that only people on, like, the green team, I guess, uh, can get in. Okay, that's what we'll do. So, yeah. So, okay, I'm going to go delete the other team for now. But actually, I'll keep it so we can unassign it. Anyways, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and enter the scripts right there. I already have it. Actually, I'll move that to server script service. And then I'm going to go ahead and start coding, okay? So what we're going to do is, um, well, first of all, let's hope we join the green team by default because we have auto-signable. I'm not going to waste time signing it. Um, but we'll, actually, I guess we could. probably should. All right, you know what? All right, that, that's what we'll do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually uncheck the auto-assignable for both of these things. That way, they don't just automatically join one or the other. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, uh, game.players.playerAddedConnectFunction. And then right here, we have our code. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, get team service up here. I'm going to do local teams service is equal to game dot get service teams there we go and then uh actually i guess i'll probably just make that teams uh yeah okay anyways and then what i'm gonna go ahead and do is um assign the team uh sorry uh, okay <laughs> bless me okay sorry <laughs> okay i'm gonna assign the, the player to the green team okay so i'm gonna do if or i'm not gonna do if i'm gonna do player dot team is equal to uh, teams dot green okay and that's the name of the team uh, so yeah that should work now and then what we're going to do actually is make some code here that actually makes it so the player can go through the door and I guess yeah we'll actually do that alright so let me actually get rid of this for now because this is going to be in the way but yeah okay anyway so um, what we're going to do is uh, insert a script into here and then we'll do if um, player or no, we'll do, sorry, not script. We'll do local part is equal to script, or door, I guess. Door to script dot parent. Then I'm going to do door dot touch to connect function. And you guys, you guys should know how to do this stuff. If you, if you don't know how to do this, then make sure to go watch my beginner series because that explains all this. Um, or like, you know, if you don't, you know, understand the touch function or the touch event, sorry. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of tutorials explaining all this stuff if you're new to scripting, so definitely go watch that. Anyways, uh, so we're going to do door dot touch, then we're going to do a hit. And we're going to do if hit dot parent find first child humanoid um then 
uh, local, uh, or no, we're, just, we're gonna just do um, door dot can collide is equal to false. Uh, and then we're gonna do waits like 0.5 seconds. And we're doing dot can collide is equal to true. Okay, now there's a lot better ways you can do this. Like I, I could make a collision group, but I'm not gonna go into that right now because it's kind of advanced. <laughs> um, so. Um, just for like simplicity purposes, I'm just gonna make it so it just like kind of goes on can collide for like a couple seconds. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyways, so that's how you do that. All right. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and um, uh, test it, see if it works. So we're gonna go ahead and hit play, and then we had that one script in the server script service which puts us in the green team, and then that script is checks, and then to see if you're in the door. All right. So we're gonna walk over to the door right here, and we we'll go through the door, and hey, it worked. Oh, and Okay, I need to anchor it. <laughs> I put on can collide off, and then it fell, and then it just fell through the base plate. So my bad, I forgot to anchor it. Um, but yeah, that's that. So honestly, guys, teams are pretty simple. That's literally all there is to it. Now you can actually create teams. Um, you can actually create. Um, okay, I'm sorry. All right, yeah, you can create a team uh, in an, in a script. So you can do like uh, like local um, blue team is equal to instance dot new. Uh, you could do te team, and then you put it in the teams, right? That's where we put it. Um, so that's and then that's the blue team. So the blue team dot name is equal to blue team, um, and then we'll change the blue team dot color to uh, brick color dot new. Um, I don't I don't really know any of the colors to be honest with you, <laughs> um, but let me see. Uh, we'll do dark blue. Okay. Uh, dark blue and there we go let's type, hit play and then what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a new team from that script right there and you can see here now we have the blue team in here and then we can assign it there if we wanted to but yeah a lot of stuff you can do with these teams now like you know like jailbreak they use like you know prisoners like and then robbers or whatever or prisoners and police like see like stuff like that or they have like civilians I think um, but that's they use teams they use the team service so yeah it's a built-in like thing that's that's really cool and it's really easy to use so yeah I know this is kind of um, kind of random but also uh, there's one more thing I could I should explain I guess if you do player dot um, uh, dot team or player dot neutral I think it is player.neutral so like we'll put it in the team okay uh, and then we're gonna do player.neutral or we'll do like wait five seconds and then we'll do player I don't know how to spell too well okay there you go player.neutral uh, player.team is equal to neutral wait a minute I I, I think I think I just forgot the syntax boys I'm, I'm sorry give me give <laughs> um, Okay, you know, sorry, you can check if the player is neutral. So if you do, if you do, um, yeah, if you do player, like if player dot neutral, that means a player is not in a team. Um, player is not in a team. But it's not going to print that because we are in a team. So, yeah. Okay. So if you wanted to get rid of the team, just you could just set it to nil and uh, should, should put it to no team. Um, but yeah. And also, it can actually like you can actually do things with, like spawn locations too. So, for example, like uh, if you had a spawn location right here, uh, let me show you spawn location, um, team color. You see, medium stone gray. Um, there's no, it, it doesn't. It says neutral right here. That means I know we can spawn it there. Um, but like for example, if I put on, oh, let me go upload a video. Nice. Uh, if I put on, <laughs> um, like for example, the uh, team color of uh, parsley green, or actually we'll do crimson. Uh, crap. Uh, crimson. Which one's crimson? I don't. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, and then it would it would be that team colors uh, thing. And then you have to untrack neutral as well. But um, yeah. And then also you can actually allow team change on touch. So if you touch it, that means you're on that team now, which is pretty cool. So like for an obby, you could do that. Anyways, that's pretty much that. That's what that's what that does. That's how that works. And that's teams for you. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy that video, make sure to smash that like button right now and subscribe for more awesome Roblox tutorials. Um, this is kind of a basic thing I know, but someone requested it, so I thought I'd make a video on it. Why not? Um, 
want to be able to explain everything on Roblox. So, you know, we, it's, we're going to have to get there somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a like if you enjoyed, if it helped you. And if you guys have any more questions um, or you're confused still, make sure, make sure to go on the wiki and read about this, Teams. You can find plenty more information online. Um, I definitely recommend that. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Also, gun series is coming soon. I will be teaching you guys how to make a gun in Roblox, how to program it, how to build it, um, like, you know, in Roblox, obviously, <laughs> and all that stuff. All right, peace.